going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today we've got the day two review between india and the kiwis now look i didn't have a review for day one apologies you know it was a saturday i was out all day and i did you know i always whenever i don't upload a review for a day i've always got people dming me and commenting you know like are you all good? <laughs> like, are you okay? Where's the reviews? So I appreciate that people care. Um, but no, look, I was just out all day. I didn't get home till late. Didn't really get a choice. Didn't, you know, didn't get the opportunity to record a day one review. And oh boy, has these first two tests, up oh, these first two days <laughs> been just incredible. I mean, look at the live win probability. 97% win for India, 2% draw, 0.9%. New Zealand don't even have a 1% chance of winning, <laughs> which is crazy. But hey, look, I missed out the day one review, but I'm going to kind of go through the day one and day two um, just quickly. So let's just go through the, the entire test match, the first two days um, so far. Ag Agarwal, of course, was retained during the week by Punjab and then comes out and makes a 150 run, 150 off 311 balls, 17 fours and four sixes. <laughs> Clap it up for Mayank because they were losing wickets quickly in this middle order. As soon as Gill went for 44, Pajara was gone for zero. Coley was gone for zero. Now, we have to talk about the Coley dismissal. Um, I, I totally agreed with the umpire giving it out because you just couldn't tell. But then, you know, as the night went on, a lot more replays, different angles started coming out. And it was clearly not out. Virat clearly hit it first onto his pad. Um, and look, the, the the third review umpire got it wrong. The umpires got it wrong. Um, and you know you could <laughs> you could see that from Coley's face that he wasn't too happy. Um, but look, it's cricket. Everyone's human. Everyone can make mistakes. So do not go abusing people or umpires because everyone's human. Yes, it's a mistake. Yes, it is someone's job. But look, just. Just chillax, you know. It's happened. We can't change it. We move on. Virat might get to bat again, maybe. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But, look, disappointing for Virat. Shreyas oh yeah, gone for 18. Unfortunate, but, I mean, he still looks good at the crease. Hit three fours as well. Um, Rinaman Saha. I was surprised that he um, he recovered from an injury. Was able to play. So, no KS Barat, which I was upset about. But, look, 27 off 62. Everyone was just trying to build a partnership with Agarwal. No one could do it. Um, Ashwin gone for a golden duck until Aksar Patel came out. 52 off 128. Built a big partnership with Mayank um, and was able to, to help India go from, you know, 190 to 200 to get them up to around that 290, 300 um, area on runs, which is super important um, considering how the pitch is now playing out. Uh, Jayant Yadav, of course, is now back in the team. Really cool. I didn't think we were going to see him play, but injuries, and now he gets an opportunity. Cool. I'm, I, you know, I'm very happy to see him in the team. Um, Yadav and Mohamed Siraj uh, making respective runs. Um, the well, well, hold on. The bowlers. Tim Southey, no one cares. None for 43. Jamison, none for 36. Whatever. This man right here. Adjaz Patel. 10 for 119 of 47 overs. I'll say it again. 10 wickets. This little man right here, Ajaz Patel, I believe he was born in Mumbai. He takes 10 wickets in Mumbai. He is now the third bowler in history to ever do it. I know Anil Kumble did it against Pakistan, I think, in 1999, I think it was. And the first guy, I can't remember his name, but it was like in 1950 or something like that. Um, so he becomes the third player to ever take 10 wickets in an innings. It's just simply superb. He bowled 47 overs. He bowled over 25 more overs than the next New Zealand bowler with Tim Southey with 22. They bowled him as much as possible, and he takes a full 10 wickets. Simply incredible. Um, it doesn't matter if you're an Indian fan or whoever you support. It's, it's history. You've witnessed history. Because things like this do not happen often. They happen every 30 years <laughs> minimum. So I might... Us right now, we... Us living, we might never ever see another person ever in our lifetime 
take another 10 wickets in an innings. That's 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 the cold hard truth. We might never ever see someone and you're not not to get all sad about it, but just witness the history while it's here and appreciate it. Um, Will Somerville, yeah, whatever. Um, Ravindra, again, whatever. No one else took a wicket than Ajaz, so it doesn't really matter um, what happened there. Um, but hey, I mean, New Zealand, they finish India off for 325, and you think, that's a pretty good score for India. But you think, as long as New Zealand, they can get, they could probably get a lead. I mean, the pitch is still looking quite good. Yes, it's turning a lot, but gee, New Zealand, you have some questions to answer for. Bowled out for 62. Sheesh. I mean, some great bowling from Muhammad Siraj. Um, Ashwin, Jayant, Yadav, Patel, um, and Umesh as well. Really, really strong bowling. The message from Kohli was clearly, we're, we're here to take wickets. We're not here <laughs> to let them score any sort of runs. Attack with the ball. Exactly what Siraj did. Early, he put it in the right positions, swung it out late, and just kept making the New Zealand batsmen have to play a shot, and it ended in them getting bowled out for 62. Um, Tommy Latham gone for 10. Um, they only had two batsmen who got double figures, Latham and uh, Jamison, which is just nuts. Latham gone for 10. Young, 4. Mitchell, 8. Ross Taylor, 1. Nichols, 7. Blundell, 8. Ravindra, Ratchin that is, 4. Jamison, 17. Southie, 0. Somerville, zero. Ajaz Patel, zero, but not out, not out. So at the end of the day, Ajaz Patel is absolutely carrying this team. He didn't. He was the only batsman not to go out, and he is the only bowler to take a wicket for New Zealand. So you know Ajaz is walking into those change rooms and saying, any fucking danger, boys? Any danger that you want to help me out? <laughs> I'm carrying you at the moment. Shit. Umesh Yadav, none for 7 or 5. Siraj, 3 for 19 or 4. Really, really great spell early. Um, put all the momentum into India's favour. Patel, 2 for 14 off 9. Ravi Ashwin, 4 for 8 off 8 overs. Incredible. He is just probably... He's the best spinner in the world, there's no doubt about it. He has gone ahead of Nathan Lyon. Um, as much as saying that as an Australian hurts, Ashwin's ahead of Nathan Lyon, for sure, in Test Match Cricket. Probably in all formats, to be honest. Um, Jayant Yadav, 1 for 13 off 2. Look, only bowled 2 overs, 13 runs off it, but runs isn't the major fact. He took a wicket. It was a wicket quite late, wasn't it? Ravindra, yeah. But just happy to see him in the team. I love seeing players that don't get much opportunity play Test Cricket to show what they're made of. And I, you know what? I was impressed in 2 overs. So, um, you know, he's only in there because... Jadeja is not in there, sure, but, you know, it, it, I just love seeing players get opportunity. Um, Jayant Yadav, so hey, India second inning started off, didn't even lose a wicket, none for 69. Haha, -ha, 69? No, look, <laughs> not out, none for 69 at the end of day two. Mayank, 38 not out of 75. Six fours. And Chiteshwa Pajara. Came in to open, 29 off 51, three fours and a six. CSK, you should have retained him. <laughs> I mean, will he get another IPL contract? Why not? He didn't play any game for CSK. You know, if I'm one of the new franchises, if I'm luck now, I'd sign Pajara to a minimum contract in the auction, play him one or two games, See if he can play T20 cricket. And you might just get an absolute bargain. Because the way he strokes the ball at sometimes, he looks like A.B. De Villiers out there as a T20 player. It's simply amazing that we have never seen Pajara play too many aggressive innings or shots um, in, in his entire career. So it was pretty fun to watch um, Pajara come in and open. And I think the, mis the message is pretty clear. To both of these boys at the start of day three, go out there, make as many runs as you can, hit boundaries for fun, because we've got a lead of 332. India will probably declare once they have a lead of 400. I think that would be way more than enough. Um, even 450 if you want. I mean, you've got plenty of time out there, so you might as well just get a lead of 450, 500. 
and just make sure that New Zealand can't win and you get about two to three full days to bowl at New Zealand would be a dream. Um, absolutely. And India will win this test match comfortably. Um, both teams missing key plays, of course, but it's just test cricket. This is what it's all about. The bowlers, um, Ajaz Patel has already bowled nine fucking overs. <laughs> so it's going to be a big day of bowling for Ajaz Patel, I would have thought. Um, but hey, that is the day two review. Apologies again, no day one review, but we've gone through it all. If I don't upload a review for a certain day, it's it's just because I'm busy. It's just because I, I, I simply don't, I'm not home and I don't have the opportunity to sit down and record um, a daily review. So if you do, that's why. Um, and I appreciate all the, you know, the messages that I get of people asking, you know, are you good? You know, is, are you going to upload a review today? You know, how am I going? Are you, are you good? <laughs> so I appreciate that people care, but yes, I am okay. Um, and yeah, day two review done for the day. I'm looking forward to in about an hour and a half. Um, day three will start. I'm going to sit my ass down, watch a whole day of cricket. Enjoy the cricket, everyone. Um, and hey, that's going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.